We are sinners. And God is infinitely holy and possesses holy hatred of sin and sinners alike. Brothers and sisters, our sin was not outside of us. It is a part of us. It is the core of who we are in this world. And a holy God who is dead set against sin is also dead set against sinners. But does God hate the sinner? Yes. And this is so key to understanding the cross. Now we say always the cliche, God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. That's nonsense. God is not unjust to hate mankind because mankind is a hateful thing by nature. It ought to be hated. Since his glory has been impugned and belittled, he has to exalt his glory by punishing sinners. Jesus became the object of the intense hatred of sin and vengeance against sin, which God had patiently stored up since the beginning of the world. At the cross, the fury of all that stored up wrath against sin was unleashed against God's own son. I want to remind you of his love for you tonight. He crushed his son for you. He bruised him, he punished him, he disfigured him, he crushed him. He was crushed. It pleased the Lord to crush him. I serve the great God of the universe who gets angry and pours out his wrath. I serve the great God of the universe who demonstrated his wrath when he poured it out on his own son. And it amazes me that we believe this, that God would crush and kill his own son, but let you slide. The holy son of God was forsaken by his father and then crushed under his own father's punishment. 